I mentioned a, a couple of minutes ago about the control that uh, exists at the RIP and the decisions that have to be made. So, you know, if I'm a print service provider and a designer sent through a uh, an output intent, I can do one of two things. I can honor that output intent and their embedded profiles, by the way, because all the profiles, if you again, if we're using a PDF X4, I'm sending everything through. All that information's there. I know what the profiles were for the device. I know what the output intent is. If in fact, for for the for the object intents, I want to keep them as as I, I want to honor those object intents because that's going to allow me to get the 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 most out of what they're passing through in this PDF. If I don't honor those output intents and I say no, nah, don't uh, just instead I don't care if they use their special RGB uh, uh, profile um, and, and, and intent and pass that through. I'm going to use and select and 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 transfer it and and transform it to sRGB. All of a sudden now, as a print service provider, I've actually ignored what my my customers sent me. I've decided that I know better than them what they want, and that's a that's a pretty risky game to be playing because you're now working against what your client is sending. They're sending you all this great information, and you're basically ignoring it. It's not necessarily the best way to process that. If we're talking about output intent, it's basically the same thing. Do you want to override their output intent, or do you want to, in fact, um, acknowledge it? Now, in this case, it's a little bit different. And the reason it's a little bit different is because sometimes your device actually has a much broader space, and especially if we're dealing with things like sign and display, where we're dealing with extended color uh, devices, where they, instead of just doing CMYK or seven colors, some of these, these, um, these wide format devices can do up to 13 colors, and they can really expand the potential output of it. So you don't want to reduce um, what uh, your device is capable of doing. Uh, and usually those DFEs have the ability to take that information, that output intent that's coming in and actually do the transform in such a way where it will um, acknowledge that and still allow uh, a, an extended output. Uh, in terms of the color uh, output that you're going to be getting. So very important uh, information. Remember that if if the files are coming through as PDFX files and they haven't been, and they ha especially PDFX4 files, that means they, they the person who's giving it to you has given it a little, at least a little bit of thought. And the chances are they're giving you a good set of instructions for you to process your file against. 